Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. A judge rules an Edmund man charged with murdering his parents can stand trial. It is against the wishes of both Elijah Walker's defense team and his family. News 9's Hunter McKee was in court this morning for the hearing. He joins us live downtown with the very latest. Hunter? That's exactly right, guys. Those close to Walker tell me the last three years have been a long and challenging process for them. And they now want what's best for him moving forward. Wondering what's going to happen to Eli, you know, we all know what my parents would want for him. They knew he was mentally ill. I knew he was mentally ill. It's been a little over three years now since Michael and Rachel Walker were shot to death inside their Edmond home. Their son, Elijah Walker, who was 19 at the time, is charged with killing them. Walker's sister first heard the news when an officer arrived at her door. The first thing I said was, oh my God, was it Eli? He said, yes, ma'am, one of your brothers has been detained and turned around and saw my brother's face on the TV. And I just started, you know, crying. Walker's younger brother reported hearing gunshots inside the house and called 911. Walker's sister, Ashton West, knew her brother suffered from mental health problems before, and it always worried her. He didn't just randomly lose his mind one night. He had been losing his mind for years, and he was medicated for about a year, but then he turned 18. I don't have to take my medicine anymore. In previous testimony, his younger brother said Walker confessed to killing their parents because they were sending him telepathic messages and worshiping Satan. I spoke to Walker's attorney after the hearing who says his client was previously declared incompetent to stand trial. However, after medication and treatment, it was determined he now could, something his family disagrees with. Where's the argument? You know, it's like it's putting the family through turmoil. Everybody's healing process has been not there. Walker is charged with two counts of first degree murder and a third charge for having explosive devices. And for now, Walker's trial is set for December 5th. Live in downtown Oklahoma City, Hunter McKee, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.